Hey, what's up everybody? We're going to prepare the gray humu humu or gray trigger fish that we caught. And I'm going to start by uh, putting the tip of the fillet knife in right where the skin meets the fin on the back and the bottom and making an incision and this will help with the removal. Uh, you saw us do this on the humu humu ele ele. Uh, the gray trigger fish, uh, the skin is tough but it's not as tough as the uh, ele ele, the black one. And um, this species is also very different. This is the best fighter of the triggerfish in, in our opinion. And I think why is uh, this one is a pure predator. So when you like remove the, the insides, the stomach and the intestines, you won't find that green seaweed um, type thing because uh, the other f fish eat both. Um, this one is just a pure predator, uh, so it's pretty cl clean. It was very clean inside, and it'll, it'll look just like a, a goldfish or a jack. So re run the fillet knife up along the spine. Going to take the shears and going to cut it off. And the other thing to notice is that even though this fish is a little bit bigger than the um, ele ele, uh, it is a lot thinner. And I think that um, is also part of its uh, trait as a as a predator. The meat is also uh, a lot lighter in terms of the pink color. So I'm going to grab the end, hold it down with my fingers, make a little slit, drive the knife down to the skin, pinch it the skin between my thumb and forefinger, and just pull uh, the fillet off. So I'm going to cut off the first fillet, which running my knife right along the um, the pin bones cut off any of the scraps and a lot of that we're, we're going to end up reusing so there's the first fillet you can see how much thinner it is than the LLA so for this one I flip it over so I'm actually cutting the back side off so I run the knife down along the ribs to take off the meat without the bone and you know any of the little bones or bloodlines left there are just going to slice off. That other piece um, we're going to scrape with a spoon to try to save as much meat as possible because we're going to make a, a spicy poke with all the uh, meat that's on the bones. So there's the first fillet. The second one is just going to be a rinse and repeat. So right now I'm taking my uh, fillet knife and dicing up some green onions from our garden and I was kind of lazy here using the fillet knife. Uh, normally I don't do this and it is um, so inefficient. I am about to give up. So I should have used the right tool to start off with and get my knife and I'm going to dice it up. And I want this as fine as possible because we're going to mix this into the um, the mix mixture with the meat to make the spicy humumu and we're also going to use it to top the nigiri so once we're done with this we're just going to take it and put it on the, on the side and get to finishing this up so we're going to use a uh, kimchi poke sauce and uh, sorry I didn't video the scraping of the meat off the bones but uh, that's what we got and um, I'm going to take just a little bit of the sauce and mix it into the meat. Gonna put on some green onion that we minced up and just stir it on up. And this is going to be the topping for our spicy humu humu sushi. Now you can use whatever um, sauce you want. Uh, you know another one would be sriracha or any other type of hot sauce uh, and just do it to taste. Uh, I'm not putting a lot in because I don't want to overwhelm the taste of the fish with the sauce, but I will be adding more green onion in. And that's not only for taste, but I like um, the, the look of it. I'm going to give it a try. And it is ono. Perfect. Don't want to waste any. Okay, we're going to put that on the side, cut up our nori into little strips to make the sushi, and use our kitchen shears, clean off our board, and get ready for final prep. 
all the fish carcass waste will go into our garden so um, use it as fertilizer so we don't w waste anything nothing goes to the dump make sure the boards clean and um, we're using a leftover rice which isn't the best thing to make sushi with gotta make sure my hands are wet um, but um, we just had some leftover rice and that block our sushi block is uh, ohia uh, that we uh, finished out so we're gonna just gonna make four they're gonna be too spicy and too nig nigiri and the rest is gonna be used for sashimi and this will be the appetizer to the meal the problem um, that I'm having now is um, because this isn't fresh you know we had to reheat it from the microwave um, it is kind of coming apart a little bit the rice but we're gonna start first with the um, spicy humu humu so I'm taking the nori and wrapping it around the uh, rice and pushing it down and that's gonna be the bed where we're gonna put on our um, humu humu mixture that we made so we're just gonna spoon it in look at that that looks delicious and we're only gonna make two make sure the boards nice and clean wrap it around and I'm flattening the, the rice with my thumb eating anything that sticks to my hand now if we made it normal poke style without the um, the kimchi poke sauce uh, I would have layered on some wasabi but uh, the flavors don't exactly um, meld really really nice in my opinion so we're just using the kimchi poke sauce and there it is gonna top it with a little bit of furikake so I dump some on the cutting board and just pinch some and just drizzle it on top it gives it a nice presentation it really doesn't add much to the taste but um, it does look a lot cooler in my opinion so this is not real wasabi this is wasabi paste made two more uh, rice balls we're gonna do the uh, nigiri so I'm forming it I'm gonna put a little bit of the wasabi on the rice and then layer on the humu humu push it down between my thumb and my palm and that's the first one I, I moved the uh, the board over so sorry so you can't see it but um, yep a little bit of wasabi just put it lightly over it and press in the Humu humu. Now, we did this the day we caught it. Um, it would have been better if you know it was done um, if we let the uh, meat rest in the refrigerator for a while. But there it is. Gonna put a little bit of green onion on it. And it's more for a presentation. And you can see off to the left, um, there's a, the plate with the uh, remainder of the fillets. That will be sashimi. I hate when those little greens of rice fall off. And I'm going to take a little bit of furikake and just put it on top. And th there's our humu humu sushi. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And aloha.